It was a week before my 23rd birthday. So that night when I went back to my boyfriend's house, um, I got high in the bathroom and fell asleep on the couch. And when I woke up the next morning, I was just like, I couldn't walk. My, I went to stand up and I just like fell to the ground and um, just was like a freaking out, like screaming, crying basically, because I didn't know what was wrong with me. And it was just because of like, I, I pinched a nerve. Somewhere during that, um, my boyfriend realized that it was like, I kept on um, discovering my leg was paralyzed like every 10 minutes. It was like every 10 minutes, it was like this discovery. So he knew that my, my brain was fucked up. It was just very odd, like he would be himself. He was fine, he was himself, but then he'd forget. A bunch of times he would just look at me and say, why am I here? You know, what are we doing here? At first in the hospital, he was, you know, full on dementia or something. It was just every few minutes, we would have to just write stuff on the whiteboard so that he would stop asking the same questions. We had gotten a call about a patient uh, transferred from an outside hospital. He wasn't laying down or forming new memories, and it was uh, pretty debilitating for him. We wound up getting uh, an MRI on him uh, overnight um, to investigate the, the memory loss. Uh, Max had a bright signal in his short-term memory center, and it's called the hippocampus, and it was completely engulfed in the signal from from head to tail. By the end of 2015, we were up to, to 14 of these cases. In 2017, we captured four additional cases and all four tested positive for fentanyl. I feel like the whole, like the past five years have blurred into like one year kind of for me. But I know that my overdoses have all been fentanyl. Fentanyl was a, a culprit that was in our minds actually from the, from the beginning. Um, Max's case um, arose at the same year of the, as the fentanyl epidemic here in, in Massachusetts in 2012. And so I wound up getting in touch with Dr. Kofke at the University of Pennsylvania. He had done a whole series of studies where he had injected rats with fentanyl and had demonstrated that fentanyl actually caused the hippocampus in the rat to be hyperactive. It was developing seizures. Spikes, spikes, spike, 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 spike. You know, the depolarization, the, the firing of groups of, uh, of brain cells would, would they fire and then stop and then fire again and then stop, you know, over and over again. I've seen a, an abundant amount of evidence that it does predispose to seizure activity in the memory areas of the brain. Seizures cause brain damage has been well worked out. So fentanyl given all by itself, or drugs like it, I think they're absolutely safe during surgery. Okay, but for these people who are taking illicit drugs, they're a setup for this phenomenon occurring if they survive the, the high dose. What's the difference? The French has a layer of whipped cream in there, and it uh, has a Grand Marnier. I started working at La Patisserie again, because I was able to remember old stuff, but nothing new. It is a little bit hard for me. Like if I have to make someone a sandwich or something, I'll probably ask them the same question like right. three times in a row. Did I forget anything? Both of my cupcakes and then okay. another eclair. Yeah. All right, yeah. That'll work. And then the box will be filled. Okay. <laughs> Did I confuse you? No. But I can remember like, you know, my phone number from when I was a kid or like something like that. But still, like I have a hard time remembering appointments, dates, times my schedule for work, anything. Max has the longest follow-up of any of the patients, and he had deficits you know, well over you know, a year out. We know the scope of the problem is larger than just, just Massachusetts, and somebody who's not laying down new memories, who's not able to learn new material, isn't going to be able to remember the steps that they need to take in order to necessarily effectively engage in their treatment. It changed everything. It changed everything. I can't plan for things. Small things become huge to me and my anxiety takes over and I just like can't handle it and run away.